So yeah, we are doing the tier list of the killers in horror. Some of them are they're actually are creatures, and some are our entities and stuff. So I'm just gonna kind of count them. But um, after this video, um, if you have any suggestions of a uh, killer list and stuff, just comment below that um you suggest me to do, and maybe I can try it in the future, maybe. And um yeah. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to do the only the most popular ones, as far as i know. But before I continue, don't forget to like the video, subscribe more, and click that bell every time you know I make these videos, you know when I'm doing them. So yeah. So what we're going to do is, here's how I'm going to rank them, is if I can survive them. Not by, I'm not counting the movies or anything, I'm just only focused on the killer only. So like... If I can survive it, um, if I can survive, I can survive it easily, or easy, or I'm dead for sure. So yeah, that's how I'm going to do for this list. So yeah, so we'll go just go right into it. I'm going to describe um, the character, what they kind of do in a way, um, what their weaknesses weaknesses are, and you know, and kind of explain their powers as far as I know. But yeah, so yeah. First one we got here is it, aka Pennyworth, the Dancing Crown, or Pennywise, the Dancing Crown. Um, okay, so he's an entity. He lives in a small village, or small town, I should say. He only really plays on children, which is I'm off the hook because I'm 25 years old, <laughs> so I'm fine. But um, he sometimes attacks adults too. So, so his powers is he's a ancient um, shade shifter. So you can transform it to anything of your worst fears, which that would be scary. Actually, I will admit that he can um, get into your mind and just really mess your mind up. Like, like when other people don't see him, but only you see him, so he's like really in in your mind, you're playing games, and basically he can really F you up. And, um, yeah. Basically his goal is to, he feeds on your fears. Um, and mostly that. But his weakness is making fun of him. If I was in that situation with this killer and stuff, or his entity, my first instinct would have been like, if I saw right there, I'm like, what's up, bald-headed freak? Like, wait, 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 you got me? <laughs> you look like a whip-off version of, um, McDonald's, uh, mascot. Just a shitty version. Stop! You're, you're making me <laughs> melt! <laughs> uh, in chapter 2. Uh, that movie. But in chapter 1, like, I like those movies, but I'm not gonna get into the movies, I'm just gonna get into the characters, so... Would I survive it though, or no? Okay, so what's this say I'm in the situation? Like, here's the thing. If I was a kid, um, if I saw that, I may or may not be dead, depending on the situation, but as a kid, I think I would probably be most likely being dead, to be honest, if I was a kid. But I'm saying right now in this moment, like in this time, if I saw that in person, um, also the good thing is about this creature that um, after he gets defeated and stuff, not by like actually killing him, but like almost injuring him and stuff, he hibernates for 27 years. So, and I think as far as I knew, um, he stays in in the location of where you basically his his hunting ground 
So, like, he doesn't technically follow you everywhere, but you might have some of those friends or whatever that might get you back into that type of area again, and then all that stuff. But, I would say... <sighs> I mean, you can really just beat him up. I mean, he's a little challenging, depending what form he's on. But I would say he's not too. Sh <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be tricky, but I can survive it. It's just gonna be tricky for sure. Don't get me wrong, especially overcoming your fears. But if I know it's it's just a creature and stuff, yes, I will be terrified. But I think um, if I keep it, if I survive it and then if I overcome it and just beat him I think also if I have a group of friends I can most likely beat this creature up and my friends too or if it's just me it might be yeah I'm gonna put I can almost survive this like I can survive it just barely survive it I will say for that but I'm in the middle of this one, so it's like, you can beat him very easily, you just have to make fun of him and stuff, of bullying, but at the same time, like, he can terrify you too, so, I'm not dead for sure, that, I, I will say for sure, I am not dead for sure in this one, this one, I can kind of survive it, I will get some injuries for sure, and possibly almost died, but not fully dead, but, like, if I know if this creature is around this and that, and if I know what I'm going into, I might, it might be to here, but if I'm not, like, too knowledgeable in this and that, then it might be here. So it's, like, it's in the middle, for sure, but, yeah, that's how I'd say, it's just, it's just in the middle. Alright, the next one we got here on this list is Chucky. It used to be a person, but voodoo doll into, um, the doll, and he's basically immortal, and he keeps coming back. So I'm just kind of describing a way, but, um, in the movies, I mean, I don't really, I haven't really watched those movies much. I'm not really a Chucky fan, in my opinion, but, um, I did hear, like, how they try to kill him off and stuff, and I'm like, I mean, some of those I would have thought of, but at the same time, like, I would have gone extreme, but it's pretty close. But would I survive it, though? If, okay, if he has a power to, like, here's the thing, he's just a doll. He has a, the mind of a human, but he's, an, he's a doll, so he doesn't really feel pain pain, so... I probably would just I I would be dead cuz if I okay I can if I like really think of it like if I know about this character's lore and this and that if I knew the stakes I'm going into then possibly I will almost survive but it's like I have to like put it in some type of cage or something like that that he cannot escape at all and just constantly keep torturing him until he just gives up or somehow. But um, but I would be dead personally. I, I just if he keeps coming back, I mean, I'm just good as dead. <laughs> but yeah, I gotta say for that for the Chucky. So yeah. All right, the next one we got here is Freddy Krueger or Freddy. This character, um, the God of Dreams. So he haunts your dreams, he even kills you when you're sleeping. Um, the only way to get him out is to lure him out and then you can beat him in real life. Uh, the fact is like, like if you try to get to know the creature, this entity and stuff and um, and then like one day you're like, oh, I'm just going to <laughs> dead you know the moment like you're just ch trying to take a nap <laughs> so I I think he's worse than Chucky <laughs> the fact that he can go into your dreams that you think you're safe but you're not and he can just kill you 
Yeah. I think he's like the probably the most overpowered one in this list. I think he's one of the most powerful ones because going into people's minds and killing you in that. I mean, yeah. I I'm just dead. I'm just gonna just accept it. <laughs> okay, just just take me. <laughs> So I would say, yeah, I, I'm, yeah, I'm dead for sure. I, I, there are times like when I'm trying to stay up late at times, but there's times like you just like fall asleep without realizing, and then you wake up, you're like, wait, what time is it? Oh, it's, wait, how did I pass out? I, I wasn't trying to, you know, like so. Knowing me, I will be dead. So, yeah, I will be dead for sure. All right, the next one is the ring, the lady. Okay. Um, I don't know much about this one as much, but I know it's the most popular ones, one of them. Um, if you watch a tape, you have like about a week to live until she comes out of the TV and then kills you. Like she comes out to reality into the TV, which is kind of cool, like, kind of cool visual. But, but you have seven days to live, I mean it's kind of... I don't know the exact, I think it's seven days, I think, but it's like Slender Man in a way. It's just a girl in a well who climbs up and then just, <laughs> and then kills you, so. Uh, knowing the internet and knowing people, if people are like doing like those little stupid challenges online about, if you watch this tape, um, try to survive the challenge, you know, like one of those craps. Yeah, I would survive it easily. You know why? I'm not gonna watch a tape. <laughs> simple as that. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, the simplest way to get out of it is to not even watch the tape. So, but if you accidentally, um, like if one of your friends did it for you, or you know, sends you a video or something, um. I don't think you can escape. Maybe you can. I don't know. But the mo those movies, I don't really know. Like to the bottom of my heart, I don't know them that well. Like to be fully acknowledged. But what I basically know is, if you watch the tape, you have a several days to live, and things are starting to happen. And I think you can try to s survive it. But I think it's like pretty simple. Just, just not to watch the tape. That's just my opinion. I just think that just don't watch the tape. Then you survive. <laughs> so yeah, that's for that one. Alright, the next one we got here is Leatherface. Alright, so as far as I understand him, um he's not um a entity or some type of god or anything, but he's he's extremely strong for sure. I think he's not as smart though, but but he's pretty strong. So I will admit, one one to one combat, I'm dead. I'm not gonna ball fighting that thing. But if I do a tactical, like doing like some smart thinking, and somehow defeat him or escape from him, then I can survive. But I mean. Like, here's the thing. If I want to fight, fight him. Like, actually fight with my own biff, my own bare hands. I am definitely gonna die, for sure. So I, that is out of the question. But if I use my brain thinking and defeat him, not by my hands, by equipment you know, or traps or stuff, then I might have a chance. So I'm gonna just put like tricky, but I can survive. I mean, it's gonna be a little tricky. For sure, but in the same time, like I think I can survive it without fighting, like actually one-on-one -on -one combat. That would be the dumbest idea. But thinking outside the box, like using traps or using a weapon or all that stuff, not actually trying to fight him, but trying to, you know, knock him dead or something like that. But you know, without actually like one-on-one -on -one combat, that is a stupid idea. But yeah, I would say. It's tricky, but I can survive it. Alright, the next one we got here is, um, 
ghost face. Alright, so this one is just like people p pretending to be, like, some people actually being the ghost face character. So it's not like, it's not just the one specific person. So it's like, he trying to find the imposter is, and... So basically, it's a game of chance. Basically, do you trust this person well enough to think that he's not the killer, or he is a killer? Sense. So it's like, but if I knew who it was and stuff, and I can probably just beat him pretty easily too. And not just me, probably like with a group of friends just to beat him up. So, I mean, I do have to be careful. He does have a knife and a snap, but if we knew who he was and stuff, we can probably just beat him up very easily. So, it's more like who it is that's going to be the most tricky part. But, if you know who it is, then it's just easy for sure. So, I mean, it's just a guy with a mask that just wants to kill and kind of gets possessed. Not like possessed, more like the thrill of being the ghost face. So, I'm gonna say also tricky, but not as compared to the love face. But him, I can easily just probably beat pretty easily. But it's just the, the only thing that's gonna be tricky is who it is first. Because in some of the movies, like, they are pretty sneaky about it. And sometimes it's more than one. So, yeah, I will say it's definitely gonna be also tricky. But I can survive it though. Like, it's not like I'm facing against an entity or, or, um, dream, the god of dreams. I mean, <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, I would say I would, it's going to be tricky, but I can survive it, but, but yeah. Alright, the next we got here is, um, the Campbell guy or something. This one I don't really know much about, all I really know about is, I think he's just, just a normal human being, just, just loves eating meat. I'm not gonna say the word, but he he loves let's just say he loves eating meat a lot more than usual. But I would survive it. <laughs> it's just a human being. I mean, like if he tries to attack me, I would just attack him right back and you know make sure he doesn't use his mouth too. So <laughs> I mean, it's just gonna be easy when it's just yeah. I mean. He's just a guy who just really, really likes meat. Really likes meat. Yeah, it's just... There's no special powers, as far as I know, or anything. He's just crazy and stuff, so... This is gonna be easy, like, pass right through. But yeah, so... It's gonna be easy, because I know who it is. I know what to look for. I know what to be aware of, so... Yeah, it's just gonna be an easy one. So, yeah, I can survive it easily, so... Yeah, the ring, it's a little bit different, but this guy, I mean, actually, yeah, I'm going to put him on top. The ring, they, like, just don't watch the tape. That's it. Just don't watch the tape, and then you're fine. Simple. If you if you do watch the tape, then you're screwed, so that's on you about that one. For me, I'm thinking logically, so if I, if someone's like, oh, see this tape, man, this is like, whoa, and then I look up, it's like, not actually look up the watch the tape but I'll look up like if other people have that type of experience too like you know just in case it just seems ominous and suspicious and if it seems iffy and it's not like nope not watching that I don't care if it, I'm curious about it nope so yeah it might it's just an easy pass easy survive same thing with this guy too so yeah for sure easy all right the next one we got here is Jason Okay, so he is basically around the camps and stuff, and he has like a weapon, like a fachetti and all that stuff, and his famous sound. <laughs> I love that sound. <laughs> I did play a little bit the Fire the 13th game, a little bit. I did like that, so. I, his powers, I mean, as far as I know, is he. I think he can teleport, because. I mean, I don't. Some of these um, killers, um, 
they don't really say they actually can teleport, but I think they can. I think. Or is he just super fast? He just can run past the speed of light and go to the other side and meet the person there. They're extremely strong, so there's no way I'm going to be able to win that. I think they're basically a moto because they just keep going, coming up. So, uh, I mean, it's not like a Chucky thing or the God of Dreams. I'm just going to say I can almost survive it. Not 100%. Like, it has to take, like, something to pin the pin Jason down and stuff. And also, you know. You know mommy issues but he's very menacingly though i will admit but i mean he doesn't really have a, too much of powers as far as i know i mean he can teleport which i think i think he can that's just my opinion about that and that um he's basically very very strong and especially like like with the Michael Myers thing too, like they can stab you as much as they can, but they can always get so somehow get back up. So yeah, I mean like yeah, I can I can almost survive it. It's all um, yeah, he's a top top of uh, I can almost survive it. it. Like like if I first encounter and stuff, you know, just I mean as a kid I will be dead. As a kid, don't get me wrong, I will be dead for sure. But as an adult, I mean like. I can almost survive it, but at the same time, I could also almost die. So, but if I know I'm going up to, but it's it. I mean, he's very close of be. I'm dead for sure, though. He's very close of I can almost for sure die. Yeah, I gotta say I can just almost survive it, but not fully. But almost survive it. It's not gonna be tricky. It's just gonna be a, a miracle for that one. So. Yeah. Alright, the next one we got here, uh, I think this is how you say it. No fails. Um, okay, so. Normal human being. So nothing special, like uh, any powers or anything. He has a split personalities, so. But. I, if I was very cautious and stuff, like very, very cautious. I wouldn't meet a man that looks like that. I'm sorry. I. Yeah, I wouldn't. Um, I wouldn't encounter them or anything. But uh, if there has to be a point to fighting and stuff, I mean, easy win. <laughs> it's just a normal human being, just a split personality disorder or something like that. That's. Yeah. That's what I gotta say about that. So it's like easy win. Uh, maybe he's very um, intelligent, like tricks his victims and stuff. I mean, if he was like tricking me and stuff, it would have been sort of trick, tricky. But I can survive. But I think the moment I know there's something up with him, like really know what's up with him. Then I can probably just survive or beat him and all that stuff easily. So, yeah, that's all I gotta say for that one. But, yeah. Alright, the next one we got here is NML. Why the hell would you have a doll that look like that? I'm sorry. If you had a doll like that, I will think you have issues. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, it's just a haunted doll that can summon spirits and stuff so for me i wouldn't get one if it even looks like that if let's just say for let's just say for example if i had to um if someone got it for me and i'm like oh okay throw it away because <laughs> yeah I, i'm not a doll person so yeah no but I mean, the only way you can really survive is getting a priest or have a Bible and just saying the commandments to get the spirit or off of this house and stuff. Basically, it's an easy win when you have Jesus with you, for sure. But, um, yeah, because he can for sure destroy this doll. But I got to think of, um, 
like if I'm in that in my if I'm in the situation and stuff of spiritual things and stuff, like, let's just say I had it for some reason. I just had it. And, um, things are happening and stuff. I think my first instinct is, is to leave the house or something. But, yeah, I would say tricky, but I can survive it. You know, just do some certain things to take care of business, basically. But yeah, yeah, I gotta say for that. But yeah, it's just if the thing is for me, if I ever seen that doll, I would never even buy it in the first place because I'm not that gullible. Oh, look at that doll. That looks kind of look nice. And also, why is it so much expensive? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, no, I I would not get that thing. But yeah. I would say for that jigsaw surviving wise I mean <sighs> I know some of the traps that can be very um like you think you will survive but actually you can't so as far as I know about it but <sighs> I mean if you do what he says possibly but you know, I'm gonna put it almost, it's like right next to I'm dead for sure. Like, there's some who su have survived but probably got very traumatized of what happened and stuff, but if he had the guts. If he don't, then I'd be dead. So it's like a toss a coin, basically. Like, if I could actually risk it and stuff. Like, if I had to chop my foot off. I mean, possibly, but at the same time, like, if it keeps going on and on and on and on, like, I had to do certain things, and it just gets worse and worse and worse. I might just be, well, that I would be dead for sure, I would say, but, yeah. But, I'm going to believe it is, I can almost survive it. Yeah. I can almost. What, like, like, 50% I can, but other 50% possibly not, so it's, it's very tricky. So, yeah, I got to say, I can almost survive it, but almost very unlikely, though almost very unlikely but yeah I will say for that the thing yeah I'm dead for sure <laughs> yeah I mean the thing like if you even like just use it's just a creature that can transform into anything and the only way to actually destroy it is destroy the whole entire cell and everything in it so it's like basically almost impossible to def defeat the thing if you don't have the right equipment if you don't yeah i yeah i'm just dead for sure yeah i mean it's a thing that it's a tiny little cell that it can just mana force into like anything that it wants and it's a creature yeah um and also you wouldn't even know if it if it is what you think it is until like you have to do like among us it's basically among us basically find out who's the sus is and this and that but yeah I, I that I would be dead for sure I'm sorry but yeah I would be dead for sure all right the next one is the shiny or this character um again normal human being so I can for sure tricky and survive and I can, I can survive but um he goes insane and goes psycho so it's the real question is can I survive it? The answer is very likely, but very likely. Like, I seen the movie too, like it's wow. It's pretty well performance and everything. It's pretty damn good. It's a good movie too. Very good. But it's like it's they go to this up whole um this this abandoned building, very massive, so like a, a motel or something like that, and they've been there for many, 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 many days, long, long, and then eventually he starts to lose it, and he slowly kills, tries to kill his family. So, but again, he's just like a normal human being with no powers, just has a weapon and just a little. <laughs> so, I won't say he's above here. Yeah, he's he's right next to you know no one bails, but 
I can easily, I can survive it easily. It's just, if you have like actual good equipment and stuff, or just, just trying to escape him, you know, then sure, it, it's just an easy win. It's just an easy, s when I'm saying about this tier list, I'm not saying by actually fighting them and killing them and stuff, no, I'm, I'm more of saying like if I can actually physically survive this situation. Like, not by fighting them and all that stuff. If I have to, then sure. If not, then I'm just gonna leave. But, um, it's more like survival. For me, I will possibly, probably will survive it, this one. But in the few others that is gonna be coming up soon, it's gonna be different, I would say. But for this one, for sure, I'm gonna easily survive that one. But yeah. The Predator. Um, aliens, very strong, very smart. They're, a, they hunt you, and um, yeah, no, no, <laughs> I would not survive that. I, yeah, and they're very, very smart, and <laughs> they lure you into traps and stuff. It's like, yeah, it's there's no point of me. I, I would not be able to survive that. Yeah, no, I, I, I wouldn't. Yeah, it's an alien, alien species, and they're extremely smart and extremely strong as well. So it's basically life or death. It's like a, a very good miracle to get that to be able to survive. But yeah, I'm not surviving that. But yeah, yeah, predator. No, you know what? I'm not used to just add um this one too. Uh, a xenomorph. I would not survive that evil. These two, I'm just gonna just add them both in, just why not? But yeah, even with the Xenomorph 2, I would not survive that evil. I actually, they're right next to each other, so I would just go leave it that. But yeah, I would not survive that. If I don't try to shoot the Predator, I will survive. But knowing me, I might do it by accident or not thinking or anything. But the alien or AK xenomorph or whatever you want to call them um yeah they just kill you no matter what they impregnate you of it's disgusting <laughs> yeah I will say for a xenomorph and a predator I would not survive any of them I just want to get that those two out of the way for sure but especially these two so obviously I know I'm not gonna survive those so yeah that's all I gotta say for that. All right, the next one we got here is Micah Myers. All right, the thing is, is um, it's the same thing as Jason in a way, but Jason I think it's more brutal than Michael. Michael like he kills, but he's slow because he's old and he's a little bit more too. But I think I can survive it though. It's gonna be tricky though, don't get me wrong, it's gonna be tricky. But, again, I'm more of saying like, just to survive the attack, not by actually defeat, like fighting them and stuff. He's also very strong too, so, and also he does like attacks in the neighborhoods and whatever else, forests and stuff. Unlike Jason, the difference is with Jason, like he's in the woods and stuff, like where, excuse me, where there's like not a lot of, um, a lot of activities going on it's like it's in the open of nowhere at times like in the cabins and stuff in the forest Michael kind of does it in the neighborhoods in a way so it's like you know again I'm not here to actually try to kill the guy I'm here like if I have to I have to if I can't then I'm just gonna run for it or survive it so the real question is, would I survive it? Yes, I can. It's gonna be tricky though, for sure. It's gonna be tricky to survive this one, but it's not gonna be too challenging enough. Like the lever face, he's a little bit more challenging though, because he runs at you and he's big and menacingly and stuff, and very strong too. Like if I do like like I said traps and this and that, to kind of like stun him and then like leave the area then I can probably survive it then but it's gonna be tricky though Michael Myers I can probably survive it too he's gonna be tricky too but it's more like I can survive it but but not one-on-one -on -one combat like with a weapon possibly 
but with a fist, which I don't know who the hell, it's like, we should fight blue. So stupid. But yeah, I would say for Michael Myers, I will survive, but tricky though. But yeah. Alright, the next one we got here is Terrifier. I haven't really watched the films, but I have heard from my friend and um, seen clips and stuff, and I'm like, that guy's demonic. <laughs> Um, in Moro, I think. Very menacing and very, um, demonic. And also, he doesn't talk. And he's just like, he's a jokester, but also a, he's like a, a mime clown. Like, one of those mimes, I did just pretend as a box and stuff, but just imagine as a clown. And just kills you and just honks the, the horn or plays with his weapons and all that stuff and then kills you menacingly and tortures you which I'm like holy shit I am dead <laughs> yeah I yeah I don't know about shrink flies but the fact is he's insane yeah I think I would just be dead and he would no he would generate so that's the main thing he would generate so yeah I'm Knowing the creature, or terrifier, you probably would come after me and still try to kill me. So it's like, how long can I keep this up? <laughs> so yeah, I'm just gonna say definitely I'm dead for sure, but yeah, I will say for that one. Alright, the next one we got here is the Grabber, aka the Black Phone. Basically, uh, he's well. In the head too. Normal human mortal. Um, I think the only power he really has is like he can communicate the dead or something like that. But with a with the phone, if a kid can kill the guy easily just by um, phone cord and stuff, then I can survive it very easily too. Like it's way towards the end. Like I can, this one I can survive pretty well. Like if I if I see that face, I'll be and just do and all that stuff. <laughs> but yeah, so I yeah I would survive it. He's just more like very messed up and somehow can commute the dead. But um yeah, it's just I can survive it easier though. Even by pun, even by fighting him or by escaping him easily so yeah I mean if he tries to find me again then I'll just take him I'll take care of business then so yeah I would, I would defeat him very easily though not defeat it sorry I will survive it very easily I will survive it easily so not mean much he just kidnaps kids and I haven't really seen the film but I heard things about he's it's kind of a crazy movie at times a little bit but um yeah, let's just say um, he grabs kids, communicates the dead. I don't. This, I don't really know the whole story to it, but I'm just need. I just need to know his ability, what he does in a way, and what is he, what is he. So, as far as I know, he's just a normal human being that just kidnaps ki kids or, or whoever. So yeah, it's just I can survive it though. And also, I'm 25, so he can't kidnap me. If he wants to kidnap me, he's asking for his death warrant. I will give him the death certificate <laughs> before I do it. It's <laughs> so like, uh, oh no, the grabber, you, you grabbed me, you, you kidnapped me. Um, hold on a second. Here you go. What's this? Oh, it's just your death, it's just your death warrant. Um, before um, I kill you, you have to sign that though, before then. <laughs> Okay. Ah! <laughs> yeah, so easy one. But yeah. Next one we got here is American Psycho. Alright, so the fact is he in 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 the fact as, as far as I remember, um or as I was informed, that um he works out a lot. He's basically he's trying to decide of He's trying to think what is reality, what is imagination, in a way, as far as I remember, or as far as I understand it. I, I, sh I should say more more understanding about it. 
So he's insane, but the fact that he's in shape, which is going to be a little bit more tricky, but at the same time that um he's just an average person that um trying to fit in, but he's also messed up. Not, I sh not in the mean way, but you know what I mean. But in in these killers, it is messed up <laughs> in the killers mind but I would say um I'm gonna put it on top actually because the fact is he's work he's wor he works out gets in fit I don't think the rest of these guys are not that fit especially the wing is just a creature so there's really not much to it he can kind of blend in but also I like, get to watch it so it's almost tricky in a way because he does kind of blend in more but at the same time like you have to keep your eye on him basically but it's easy to survive if you watch what you do basically you just don't do something stupid oh uh just just you want to come in my house so you can have a a, a sip of wine and stuff and watch a movie you know like something like that that you barely know someone yeah no <laughs> So, just be around with a lot of people around. Don't be by yourself, and you'll be fine. But, at the same time, there might be some situations you get to the point that you get that trust level, and then you f follow them, and then then you sort of get killed. So, at the same time, it's like, I can survive it, but it's almost tricky. Depending on the situation and stuff, of what ha was like where you first encounter him and all that stuff so or where he's at so yeah so I can survive it easily easy but it's almost tricky so yeah the next one is Candyman okay so he was in Mortal Kombat like that no I did watch that movie too I just don't remember as much basically you go up to the mirror and you say Candyman five times, which I said twice now, so I gotta be careful what I say. If I say more, he might appear and kill me. So, um, yeah, so this character, um, just don't say Candyman. That's nah, free. Five more times. I don't know why it's five. <laughs> that I never understood why it has to be five times to say, um, the word. But, yeah, so... But would it, can I survive it? It's just like the ring lady. It's just like, just don't do stupid stuff. And he won't come. Or be summoned. All that stuff. So he's going to be right next to this. Yeah. I can survive it easy, but some people might be doing super stupid stuff that, oh, go say Candyman. That's four. Now I have to watch it. <laughs> so, yeah, so just. Don't say the word. Don't go, don't go in the mirror. Don't do the bloody, bloody Mary thing or him. Man. Hit, hit, hit man. <laughs> I try not to say the word. But yeah, so just don't say the word basically. And yeah. That's all I got to say about that. Just don't say the word. Uh, basically, he's has bees and stuff. And the way you know is when you see bees all like in the most random places. And the hook the hook is the weapon and he just kills you and he comes into reality and kills people and it's not if you say the word um i can't say it. so yeah so you know what i might switch this to there no i'm gonna leave it there just don't say the word came it damn it <laughs> Hey, uh, Candyman, just take- <laughs> Thanks, Candyman. <laughs> Give me a chance, thank you. <laughs> it's like finish this video. So the last one we got here for this video is Pinhead, aka Hellvisor, God of Hell. Uh, yeah. He has Technetnesis, I can't even pronounce that properly. Uh, yeah, so he is- he was a priest, and then he opened the box, and he became Pinhead, and he is ridiculously overpowered, and 
and can kill you instantly. So yeah, no. <laughs> I'm yeah, I'm dead for sure. I would say um yeah. I'm gonna yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna just go put right there, cause yeah, I I will be dead for sure, especially one the god of dreams and one the god of hell. So yeah, no. So yeah, <laughs> the only thing will only save me is God itself <laughs> to help me with, with this character, with that entity, with Pinhead. Yeah, no. But besides the point, I would not survive that. I would not. Yeah, he just. Yeah, no. You have to get very lucky to get close enough to be able to kill him. So, it's just... Yeah, no. I would not survive that. And yeah, and this is for this video of Horror Killer Video. If you guys like the video, don't forget to like the video, subscribe more, and click that bell every time I make these videos. You know when I'm doing them. Yeah, I think this is going to be the only video for this one. And yeah, so... I'm going to make more tier lists of other things, and you just vote what you want to see and then we go from there but as in for the Halloween theme this is gonna be it so for the tier list so yeah so this is my tier list comment below if you agree or not um I like to see you guys such I like, I like to hear you guys suggestions what things would you survive and what things you wouldn't survive and all that stuff so yeah don't forget to like the video subscribe more and click that bell every time I make these videos you know I'm doing them and this is it for now for this video of the tier list so yeah, stay tuned for the next one, and yeah, and stay tuned. And <laughs>